just wipe that screen clean. I'm uh, at the shoreline again, looking at some beautiful sea life and other interesting things as well. Other interesting aspects of Scotland, right up there in the far highlands. Stick with us guys, you don't want to look at me do you? You want to look at this beautiful view. a bit close for comfort guys time for me and the badgie to uh, get over on the sandy area hey badge you reckon here we have got some what oh, you can see there rabbit poo rabbit pellets Ooh, there's tons of food on the shoreline common name for this plant is sea rocket cacao maritima and it's part of the brassica family and as you can see its habitat is quite sandy in poor nutritional soil and it tends to flower between june and august and the seeds ripen between august to october the species is hermaphrodite so it has both male and female reproductive systems as you can see at the moment it's being pollinated by this bee it can also be pollinated by other insects like moths, butterflies, beetles and other flies. So the edible parts of the plant are the flowers, leaves, uh, the roots, seed pods and the stems. They can be eaten raw or cooked and they're rich in vitamin C but have a very, very bitter taste I will warn you. The uses are mainly for flavouring. The young leaves and the flowers can be put in salads, older stuff needs to be mixed with a, a more milder tasting leaf. The root can be ground into a powder and then mixed with cereal flour and used to make bread. And it's only used in times of real scarcity. During high tide, the plant releases its seed into the water and thus creates the next generation. Oh, she got that limpet off there herself. Is he? Eh? Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. 